Hi, my name is David Bannis and welcome to Special Needs Insights. Today, I just want to talk a little bit about how to select uh, the perfect trustee as if one existed. Uh, there, of course, is no such thing as a perfect trustee of your special needs trust, but things to look for. Uh, number one, your relationship with this person. How much does this person, if, um, if this person exists in your life, uh, how much do they know about your loved one uh, that needs taken care of? What sort of lived experience do they have um, alongside of you um, as, as, as life and, and the care has progressed um, over the years of, of your loved one, your special needs child? Uh, geographical proximity is becoming less important, but it is a serious consideration. It just frankly is much easier for uh, an individual trustee who lives um, in the ge geographical area to carry out the duties of a trustee than someone who is in Charlotte, North Carolina or out in California or anything else like that. Although with the changes that we've seen over the last 18 months through uh, this pandemic, remote work and virtual work is becoming easier and easier. And so that becomes a little less of a top of the line concern. What you do not need to necessarily consider is personal expertise in anything as far as accounting or legal matters or things like that. That is a bonus. And obviously, that those types of skills in a trustee uh, are going to uh, you know, suit the individual well to carry out the, the, the duties and obligations of the trustee. Uh, but uh, as long as someone is willing to take direction and be a little bit curious um, about of what they need to do. Um, you know, a lot of times if a new trustee is appointed, we'll have a meeting and uh, someone like me or our other um, uh, special needs attorneys here will sit down and say, okay, this is what you need to do now. And this is what you need to do going forward. And we have uh, various meetings and checkups. And so you do not need to pick someone that's an accountant or a lawyer or a financial advisor. You just need to pick someone that is willing to take on the role and to do uh, to talk to the right people in order for them to carry out your wishes uh, for your loved one. Um, here in uh, uh, about a week and a half, um, I'll be conducting what we call trustee school. Trustee school is um, a, a two hour or so um, talk that we put on and we discuss all the various things about special needs trusts and duties of trustees, um, the various benefits, Social Security, SSI, Social Security Disability, uh, the ins and outs of Medicaid and Medicare and the waivers and how distributions out of these trusts may impact those benefits of the different types of special needs trusts and concerns that a trustee may need to have if they're administering a third party discretionary trust versus a first party Medicaid payback trust. And then we'll also talk about stable accounts and how those interact with special needs trusts trust to provide the benefits that uh, our loved ones need. And so it's always a well attended, uh, lively talk. Uh, if you can believe that we're talking about uh, such mundane things sometimes, but very important and people are always interested. Um, so that will be over um, um, Zoom on the 28th of August at 10 a.m. And uh, I encourage anyone who is interested to log on to our website to inquire and maybe register and hear a heck of a lot more than what I said here today. So, you know, again, a big change starts with a little conversation and uh, give us a call. We're here to listen.